That's the lot for tonight, Mr. Thorpe. We can't risk bringing any more in before dinner. Come on, Keep on, You miss. Did you see anyone in the street? No. That's very odd, isn't it? Where is everyone? I think we'll know soon enough. Let's get inside, I miss. And bolt the door behind you. She asked me to apologise. Did I see faces? In the mill? My brother has imported hands from Ireland. They're huddled up in the top room. What are they doing there? But they're frightened. The strikers have frightened them so that they don't dare work and we don't dare let them out. Poor wretches. Mama is seeing to their food and John is trying to calm them down. Some of the women are wailing and begging to go back home. Ah, oh, here's Mama. Excuse me, Mrs. Thornton. I'm sorry to bother you at such a time. My mother... Fanny mentioned you had a water mattress that we might borrow. I, I'm sorry, I thought... Keep her here at the back of the house, Mother. How soon can the soldiers be here? <laughs> Try to stop her panicking. Miss Hale! <laughs> Miss Hale, I am sorry what visited us at this unfortunate moment. Keep up your courage for a few minutes longer, Miss Hale. I'm not afraid. But can't you pacify them? The soldiers will make them see reason. Reason? What kind of reason? Mr Thornton, go down this instant and face them like a man. Speak to them as if they were human beings. They're driven mad with hunger. Their children are starving. They don't know what they're doing. Go and save your innocent Irishman. Mr Thornton, take care. are coming. Go in peace. You shall have an answer to your complaint. Will you send the Irish off? Never! <laughs> Go inside. This is, this is not your place. They will not want to hurt a woman. Go inside or I will take you in. Are you satisfied? 
You came here for me, so kill me if that's what you want! Come on, come on, come on.